This is part of the Emotional Intelligence series. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, avoid the following. Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me here at Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network from imperfect folk everywhere. Things to avoid when you want to improve your emotional intelligence. Number one, drama. Keep drama out of your life. Drama, chaos, whatever word you want to use. Keep the people away that create drama and who seem to thrive on drama and chaos in their own life. Keep those people at a minimum or at least curtail them when they start talking about drama in their lives. And definitely don't let the, them pull you into their drama. Um, a lot of people will do it when they're having uh, marital or relationships problems. They'll just try to draw you in. And they will often use gaslighting tactics to draw you in. Because they need people that thrive on drama need to feed off of it. And so if they can't continually get new input for their drama, then they're starving the drama. Um, sometimes they're called emotional vampires. So t stay away from drama. Number two, likewise, stay away from complaining. Quit complaining yourself and stay away from people that are complaining. Or if they are complaining, try to gear them towards something more positive to talk about. Number three, don't dwell in the past. Try to encourage other people around you not to dwell in the past. The past is the past. You learn from it, you move on. But I do stress you must learn from it to move on. Number four, negativity. Keep negativity out of your life. And a lot of times we bring negativity into our lives through um, social media, the news, the movies we watch, the books we read, the articles we read, try to gear those to a more positive um, in your life instead of the negative. Number five, criticism. Don't criticize other people and stay away from those that criticize you. If you have family members that are constantly criticizing you and treating you bad, talk to them about it. Talk to them first about stopping the criticism. If you can't, then you need to try to stay away from them. There you have it. What to avoid if you're trying to improve your emotional intelligence. Um, we would like to urge you to subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends about us. Um, our handle on YouTube is Life 2 for 2, but we're still Life Squared, so we're going to stay Life Squared. Um, if you subscribe, you don't even have to worry about the handle. I'm Angie Lynn. Thanks for joining me today here at Life Square. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.